President Guillermo Lasso had bet on Sunday's constitutional referendum and local elections to turn around his political fortunes. Lo que ocurrió el domingo. What happened on Sunday was a call from the people to the government, and we are not going to evade that responsibility, but it was also to the entire political leadership and the state. The Ecuadorian people have asked us, they have asked all the parties and groups to stop fighting amongst ourselves and to get to work to solve the urgent and concrete problems of our people. Instead, a majority of Ecuadorians turned their back on him. On election day, voters said they were divided on the eight questions of the referendum that Lasso said was paramount to address the country's current political and security crisis. Some voters believed him. I voted yes because I believe that these reforms are necessary for the country. We are still a democracy in construction. But most perceived the referendum as little more than a way for Lasso to try to regain initiative after proving unable to pass any reforms through a hostile Congress. Lasso already had more than enough time to try and help the country, but he failed. There are no jobs and no help for the youth. We feel helpless. There is so much crime and we can't live in peace anymore. The referendum also called for the extradition of citizens linked to organized crime. And the rise in violence also crept into the election campaign. Two leftist mayoral candidates were killed before the polls opened. Some had to vote under extreme security measures, something Ecuador had never witnessed before. In the end, the real winner of the night was former leftist president Rafael Correa. He received the results in Mexico surrounded by his allies. Candidates of his party took back the mayoralty of the capital Quito and for the first time in 30 years that of the country's largest city, Guayaquil. Correa lives in exile in Belgium. He was sentenced in absentia to eight years in prison in 2020 on controversial bribery allegations. The right lost across the board at national level. The Conservative Social Party in particular is left with very few provinces, while we see the left and in particular progressive movements like Careers and the Indigenous Party rising. It leaves the government in a much more unfavorable scenario. The loss leaves Lasso with little to no space to maneuver. He already barely survived an impeachment vote back in June following weeks of protests that rocked the country and raising doubts now that he will be able to remain in office for the two years left in his administration. Alessandro Ampietti, Al Jazeera, Quito.